G'day everyone, Ray Zero AU, and welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die in Alpha 16. So, I've done a bit of a run back to our original base. So, this is where our new base is here. So, come back over here. Main reason being, I just wanted to check what we've got here and uh, what do I want to take back with me. Um, been picking up feathers along the way, so we've got lots of feathers which are good. Probably get rid of the maple. Paper, we'll probably get rid of that for the moment. The brass, we can come back here and grab all this stuff if we need to. Keep hold of the meat. Come across quite a few, uh, and probably the jukes. Come across quite a few uh, animals on the way across, which was quite nice. Uh, the seeds would be nice. Green alcohol. Anything here we want to take back with us? Really essential stuff that we want to take back at this stage. Reason being, I'm thinking we might just drop past the... Um, the airdrop on the way. On the way back. We've got a decent amount of food in here, we've got some beer. Probably take the beer to be honest. Probably use some of that on the way back. Mechanical parts we want. The plastics. Take cobblestone rocks because we are going to need those. Add those feathers. And iron we'll want with us. Uh, not going to worry too much about the treasure map at this stage. Um, da, 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 da. I think that's probably all we want from there. Not much going on in there. Let's come down and have a look. Do we have anything in there? No. Oh, we've got some fire in there. Got in here mechanical parts we want. Plastic. I'll leave a claw hammer. Iron. We've got an anvil back there. We could take those, but got 15 mortar. We could take that. We've got some forged steel. But we can we should be able to make some forged steel before too long. You know what? I don't think there's a hell of a lot we want to actually uh, take back with us. I have started to um, to do some upgrading on the new base. Oh, what about that? Let's try that again. So yeah, I've started uh, doing some upgrading on it. Uh, just upgrading to through to iron, and that's the reason I wanted to grab the. Um, Let's grab a couple of these trees just so we got some wood on us. Wanted to grab um, scrap iron and also the cobblestone rocks because if we're upgrading from wood, starting off with wood frames, then we've got to go through all the various parts of it. It's going to be quite expensive. So you definitely would not be want to, you wouldn't want to do it to a big base. You want to work out what sort, how big you want your base, and then um, start building that out of decent material. But with the small base we've got at the moment, like something like this, we wouldn't want to try and do this out of wood or something like that, and then upgrade it all. It's just too hard. But one thing we might do while we're over here, just a bit of a side thing is um, let's see about bringing down at least one of these towers there's quite a bit of um, iron stored up in those Oop. 
Now you will have seen at the end of the last episode I uh, found the crossbow schematic. Um, continuing to use the Uh, continuing to use the bow at this stage simply because I've got a lot of arrows for it so alright so first thing we probably want to do is up here and just make sure there's nothing to loot it generally isn't in these places in these towers I don't think I've ever come across anything decent in these. Um, you know, one glue I'm going to get rid of, one lump of coal I'm going to get, oh, 13 lumps of coal I'm going to get rid of, and the maple seeds. Don't need any of those. Oh, we got another one there. It's in there. Paintbrush. Alright. Right. I just want to make sure we don't fall off this ladder. So as you can hear from my footsteps, or maybe you can, maybe you can't. This whole tower is made of metal. So, what we want to do is we want to start breaking some of this out. Be a fairly slow process, but we need the scrap. should give us good amounts of it. As you can see these frames then come down really easy. It's just this first part. Nothing we do want to do. Let's break some of this apart. So it really is all about collecting resources at this stage. I have managed to do the um, workbench back at our new base and the cement mixer. Um, I also built a second forge. Oh, well, I'll probably do for that. We've got two slots left. One spring. Gonna get rid of it. Mm. All right, let's keep going. So I've got one forge uh, going with iron and clay 
uh, the other forge going simply with stone in it to be able to make cement. Need to get a bit more clay, um, one to put into the furnaces, but also want to make the crucible. That way we can start to make steel tools. We might drink a beer while we do this. Seems like a job you were, a job where you you drink a beer while you were doing this. I reckon. Seems like that sort of job. We're now dehydrated, aren't we? Yeah. Slowly getting our wellness back up. left to go. Right, I'm starting to get cold. There's that. Because we're right on the uh, boundary between uh, snow and sort of prairie land, part Dennis desert type thing. Quite over here at the moment, he says, as he looks to his right and sees a massive wandering horde coming towards him. Yeah. We can always drop some stuff back off at this base if we need to, before heading over to the uh, airdrop. I'm going to make sure we got room for whatever is in there. Hopefully something decent. Hopefully a motorbike book. That would be lovely. Just a few more blocks. And then we can start breaking out the... Uh, frames. I'm just going to break these ones down. Just clear them out. I'm going to make sure that those consoles don't cause a problem. With the collapse. All right. Okay, I'm starting to see some items fall. Starting to come down. And these parts here, we should just be able to. Any moment now. Right, 
Oh, there we go, lag. No! Thing hasn't dropped. A couple of thousand steel at this point, surely. Whole thing's going to come down shortly. Can't just float there in the air. Can it? Okay, one thirty in the afternoon. We got that lag spike, I was sure it was going to drop, but... Not quite sure why it didn't, to be honest. Something's holding it up. Really? It's holding it up. Oh. Well. well, let's head back over to the base here. We'll drop off some stuff and then we'll... They should not be floating in mid-air like that. Well, it should have collapsed. Alright. Doesn't want to collapse. That's okay. You know we can come over and smack some more uh, iron out of it if we need to. I'm sure it will collapse eventually. Probably don't need the golden rod seed at this stage. We'll get rid of those. Paintbrush. Mm. You know what? We could probably get rid of the animal hides for the moment. We probably don't need those. And two torches. That leaves us with six spots. Alright. <laughs> Let's go with the beer again. We got one gold more. ones. 
we can make some more uh, some more jars if we need to. Okay, so. Quick waypoint on the airdrop, so you know roughly where we're headed. Bummed about that. That would have been good if that had dropped. There's something holding it up. Maybe that tree's holding it up. Should we try it? Let's just try that the off chance that the tree is actually holding that up. Shouldn't be. No. Hmm. Oh well. Best laid plans and all that jazz. So, not interested in whatever you're selling today, sir. We have to head back through the uh, burnt biome. Right now, we're getting hot. So that on. We'll keep our eyes open for birds' nests. I have got the uh, forgers making some. Oh, hello! Are you coming for me? Him. Come on then. <sighs> Look at one more hit, should get him. Oh, I'm swinging way, way. Come on then. Come on then. Then you come. Where are you going? Really? You're one tough bird. There you go. Alright. Good. Back and go. Back and go. Back and go. Uh, might have to wear that for the moment. It should help with the uh, the heat. Yep, yeah, temperature's going down now, which is good. Keep an eye out for. Food. The Vows Academy. It's worth looking around here for bird's nests because it's uh, pretty easy to spot in these sort of biomes. Oh, 
Don't to spend too much time on it though. So our aim is to get to this airdrop. And we have got a decent amount of arrow, um, arrows, uh, feathers at this stage. So, how many we got? 250, 450. So, too bad. about the zombies at this stage. Just want to get to this crate. Just up here somewhere. But the good thing is, as you can see here, this being a burnt biome. Alright, here we go. that. OK 47, sniper rifle parts. Yeah, could have been better. Um, but the burn biome is good for potassium. So, alright, well, no point. Quick play point there. That way. Alright, let's go. Sounded like a snake to me. <laughs> Hello, sir. You got lovely eyes today. So yeah, being uh, not too far away from a burnt biome is a good thing. Ooh. Or is that lead? I can't remember, to be honest. It's one of them. But having a good mixture of um, biomes near you is always handy. Now, the one thing we haven't got near us that I know of is like a proper desert. That's something we're going to have to look for. A couple of reasons. Basically, we want to uh, be able to make our own bandages. Um, healing bandages and um, also we need to find a source of shale at some point so that we got a good supply of um, fuel right, so probably not too far off being back home it's not too bad a run Let our stamina build up again. Don't really want to use another um, another beer if I don't have to. There it is in the distance. So at some point it's going to tell me that we're getting cold. All right, so trees are starting to grow over here. It's okay. Still got lots of boulders around that we can get stuck into. So you'll see over here I've upgraded a lot of all the spikes, and I was upgrading 
these. I was just doing the first iron upgrade on them. Because I knew I was running low on uh, iron. Just upgrade these spikes. These spikes take quite a bit. You'll see I've inadvertently upgraded a few things uh, higher than that. So I'm back down to 900 iron. So. Okay. So let's head downstairs. Was it five o'clock? You got your stone. Right. Craft it. Uh, have made five iron arrowhead. Uh, five. Five hundred iron arrowheads. So now we do want some forged iron. Over in our storage, we can put a whole lot of this stuff away. Uh, actually, you can come with me. Keep all the feathers on us for the moment. Make some uh, bacon and eggs. This so this have we got? We got much, have we? You know what? Let's just use it up. Uh, God Rod Two, we'll that up. Go in there. And you can go in here. And actually, leftover meat can go in here as well. So we've got plenty of meat. Okay. So we want iron crossbow bolt. as opposed to an iron arrow. And we can make 500. The rest of the feathers can go back in there. Come over to where we had our clay. Where are we doing the clay? Right over here. We can work with the clay there. Yep. 
We are going to need lots of clay. Mainly for cobblestone at this point. To do the upgrade. And then hopefully by the time we've done that, we'll have enough cement made. Can upgrade straight into cement. I mean, I know there'll be those of you that probably are sitting there thinking, you know, wouldn't it be easier just to chop out the blocks and replace them? And it probably is. But, you know what, I've never really taken any building from being wood all the way through. So, more out, more out of interest than anything else. See, uh progress through the various levels, even though some of them were only going to be on them for a few moments. But yeah, you're probably right, it probably is easier just to chop it out. Right, getting cold now. Uh, do is put a helmet back on. Well, I want that. Really need the cotton armor. We try to eat some snowberry, I suppose. We got two thousand clay. I'm still bummed about the way I put that door in. All right. So we've got that, so crucible. What do we need? 10 mechanical parts. All right, so we get 10 mechanical parts and we can tell it to start making that. We'll use up most of our small stone, which is fine because I can use the, uh, I can work overnight and get a bit more. So uh, mechanical parts. This crucible is, um, is important. All right, it's going to take about a quarter of an hour to actually craft. So, whoop, here we go. Here we go. They can go back in there, they can go in. All right, we've got 1200 clay. Decent amount of clay in there. Probably put a little bit more clay in there. 
No. And that can be clicked on. I'm going over here. Too bad. We've got much concrete at this stage, but that should be starting to build fairly quickly now, I think. Okay. So what I'll do is you can go down there. Alright. So I'm gonna call the episode here. I'm gonna spend the rest of the night just uh, digging, doing a bit of mining. So hopefully you've enjoyed what you've watched. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you all next time. I'm Ray Zero AU, signing out.